All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to lap the valves into your head. And this head just came from the machine shop today. And if you look, I've got all my valves laid out here. And I put them in order as I took them out. And as I cleaned them, I just used this old uh, camshaft box here to keep the uh, top hats and the uh, valves together. And I cleaned all these valves off using a little bit of uh, Scotch-Brite and uh, drill and they're a lot better than they were for sure So even though this looks discolored on camera, the real uh, the real test is the texture here, and this is really, really, really smooth. So really that discoloration is just that, just color. I mean, if you look at the shine there, uh, that's usually a good indication of smoothness. Um, yeah, it won't shine too well on a bumpy surface. So um, I also... Marked my head serial number and stamping so that I know which side is which uh, when it came back from the machine shop. So I know that this is the roadside head. Uh, and this was my roadside valves here. So <clears throat> there are two ways to do this. Uh, well, there's, there's probably a lot more than two ways, but I'm going to show you two ways today. So one is using your valve lapping tool. These are a couple of dollars at pretty much any auto supply store or online. And the other method uh, is not using one of these because I actually had trouble on the VW heads doing this because the suction cup just did not want to stick to the smaller valves on the VW. And it got pretty frustrating. So the second method is using a piece of hose. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm not going to set this head up, but once we start lapping, this valve is going to be in the head all the way. And you're going to have part of the valve stem sticking out the other side. So what you do is put a piece of hose over that valve stem, enough for you to get through. And I like to cut it about the length of my hand, as close to it as I can, so I can work this valve back and forth in there. Now here it's all wobbly, and uh, obviously we're not gonna want that. So you're gonna wanna put a little bit of downward pressure and your uh, valve guide's gonna help keep that straight anyway. So just put a little bit of downward pressure on it if you're using this method. We're gonna be using a two-part uh, grinding compound. The first one we're going to use is a coarse grade, followed up by a fine grade. Now, I do this after it comes back from the machine shop because uh, not only was it vatted, but it was also bead blasted. And doing it before then would, would pretty much do no good. Uh, also, of course, you want to make sure that your valve seats are in good shape before doing any of this, uh, which I actually, you know, looked at the valve seats before it went to the machine shop. And then, of course, the uh, machinist at the machine shop looked it over before he gave it back to me. I feel pretty confident and uh, put these valves back in. And it does not take much to do this. Just a little bit here.
that's going to be plenty. Hey buddy, I'm recording, so you got to be quiet, okay? Thank you. Now set your valve back down in your head. And I'm actually hitting on this block of wood. That said, it would come all the way through. Make sure you set your head on something soft like that. Block of wood or uh, cardboard. It's a big end here. I might need a little bit of liquid here. What we're really doing is listening for the grind. Okay, so you hear that, how, how loud it is grinding? What we're going to do is we're going to just spin this back and forth until that grind gets smooth. All right. Hear how that grinding is almost completely gone away? We're going to clean this off and get ready for our fine compound next. And make sure that you clean this grinding compound off in between uses. So we don't want to uh, clean or we don't want to grind uh, two compounds at once. You can use a little bit of brake parts cleaner in here if you really, really want to. Uh, I'm not going to right now. Just giving it a good wipe down. Of course, when I'm done, you'll definitely want to use some kind of cleaner, preferably brake parts cleaner, to get all of this out. Because this, uh, this stuff is like liquid sandpaper almost, and you definitely don't want this getting down into your engine. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Grind till it sounds uh sounds soft. And that's it. Alright, so now for me to explain why we do this. <clears throat> so on your compression stroke, you want both of these valves closed so that you can get the most power out of that explosion that's pushing against the piston. Um, if these, well, if these seats are bad or your valves are bad, once that explosion happens, you're going to have hot gases going back into either your exhaust or your intake and you're going to lose power that way. So by sealing this up and making a better mating surface, it's just going to help your engine run better. Now I'm going to put this valve right back where I got it. And I know that that valve is lapped to that port because on a small scale, no two valves and no two seats are going to be the same. So that's why we're trying to mate them to each other all the way down the head. And it really is that easy. <clears throat> 